Hello everyone, welcome back to Oblivion. We are inside the dungeon or the Alade Ruin Malada. And uh, we still have some work to do before we get to that stone door. Because I actually want to look down there uh, where the traps are. I'm not sure if that's safe. So we might have to need to, re need to reload because we're, our health is not pretty, pretty good right now. And we cannot seem... Yeah, we can rest. Alright, it's a good thing. Resting is important. I remember that from Morrowind as well. Uh, so let's actually have a look down here. Am I hurt by the gases? It's not doing much damage. Alright, let's try to open this. Let's take what I can find. Alright. Ah, oh, come on. Too eager. Shit. Two lockpicks left. Uh, one. Just the one. And we're done lockpicking for the time being. Let's at least try to open this one. Security skill increased. At least I got dead. And I've run out of lockpicks. And the lock casket is closed. Forever. Because I'm not sure we're coming back here. Ever. But you never ah! know. Alright. So there was nothing down there. The cask probably didn't help much. But yeah. The problem is if we find more lock chests... I don't have any lockpicks anymore. But I'll be alright. Actually the last dungeon I did off camera... Uh, months, months back, like in the summer of 16... 69... Um, I faced some cave trolls or something like it. And they were way too tough for me to tackle. So I had to actually lower the difficulty, which sucked. This thing is right up in my face, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but, but I think it, it makes the game a little more bright for you to see. The block has an irregular gap in it, which looks like it could be a keyhole of some kind. But there is no other sign of how to operate it. Snap! We need something for this. It pr it's probably because we, uh, we need it for a quest, and we don't have that quest currently. So I guess we have to come back here because I think we're explored everything we can find. Well, we could we could have wrapped it up. No, that's not true actually. What's this? Malada Alt Mericel. Did we miss it? Maybe some secret exit. Let's have a look then. Interesting. Don't hurt me. I'm innocent. Uh, that should be that way? Yeah, we've been there before. And I mentioned something of a hidden passageway. And a passageway should actually be here. To our left. Yeah, it's, it's definitely blocked. I think it's uh, it's meant to be an exit. So, uh, yeah, that's it for Malada. And I know what the next step will be. We're getting outside and uh, we're going to do Maroon's Razor. That's one of the biggest DLC quests uh, that has been added to Oblivion after the game was released. And it's probably one of the biggest dungeons the game has to offer as well. Well, I'm not sure if I'm ready for it yet. But um, normally you would exhaust the content of Vanilla Oblivion. But we're beyond that. I'm just... Whatever comes in my way, even if we have to go to Shivering Isles, I will do that. Back to the Nemine Basin. All right, the torch can go, although it's night time. I thought we had a light spell as well. Um, torch. Unequip. Spells. Starlight. Do we have that somewhere? No, we don't. Why not, I wonder. I'm using 7 currently. 
Star of the West. What does that do? Star of the West. Absorb fatigue. Uh, it could be interesting, but I think Starlight. 20 feet for 60 seconds on self. That's only 60 seconds, though. Nah, yeah, I'll leave it for now. Um, let's select our next destination. And like I said, that is going to be Sundercliff Watch. How do we move it? Alright, it has been moved. We also have a quest accompanied by that. And... Unearthing Maroon's Razor. I've heard talk of a lost LA city called Varsa Balim. Where Maroon's Razor is hidden. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. If I search the ruins of Sundercliff Watch in the eastern Nibin, I may be able to find the lost city and recover this powerful Daedric artifact. A lost city it is. Alright. I think this was quite a big thing when this DLC came out. It was well, and I think after Oblivion, the um, loose. DLCs came out, not the great packages. Knights of the Nine and Shivering Isles came later. But Maroon's Razor was one of the first big DLCs and it added a big quest in the dungeon. Um, damn, this game is getting old. <laughs> or I'm getting old. Probably a little bit of the same. Now well, let's do some spell making while we're here. It will empty our uh, inventory a little bit. Then again, we are creating some potions. How do we do that again? Do we have our mortar and pestle actually? We don't. Apparently I tossed it away at some point deciding no I'm not doing that anymore. No we cannot make any potions apparently. Sexy ball, Oompa <laughs> ball. Those are the L mods. Fliff, Sapphire. All right, so no, uh, no potion making. I guess it's quite tedious anyway. I don't like it in Skyrim. What do we do with this though? Well, we let's just hold on to it. Maybe we'll do it later. And let's move. I'm actually looking forward to actually talking to some NPCs again because it's been a while. Meeting some people, you know. Maybe there are some NPCs in Maroon's Razor, who knows, and we're in trouble? Rats. And I'm in need of a bed to actually rest so we can level up. Uh, we sh maybe we shouldn't take it anymore. And I have to remember that I will collect the Nurn Roots in this game. Uh, Alright. Green Stain Cup, sure. So if we look at the map, we're actually on the border of uh, Oblivion. Morrowind should be here, yes. I think it has been surrounded by mountains or something. I've played Oblivion countless times, but I don't remember being here. I've been in Braville, Braville. Shivering Isles is uh, going to happen here, so there could be a fair chance that I'm doing this real soon. I'm getting very close by to it. Black Marsh is over here. Elsewhere to the left. This is where the Khajiit live. Black Marsh is where the Argonian lives, right? I think. Enjoying the sound effects right now. The frogs. Not sure why there would be frogs here. But it's it's a nice feature. We're actually closing in. And we're closing in on something else as well. Hmm. 
We found an abandoned mine. That's what we're going to do right now. Where is it though? Down here? Between these rocks somewhere? Okay, what are we dealing with? Another rat. Nasty little things. Stars. And this is the entrance to the abandoned mine. That's a very generic name for a mine. I wonder if it's the only abandoned mine in the game. It might actually contain a bed because mines usually are at some point uh, habited by uh, people. Bandits. And we're again in, in battle mode? If there's plenty of creatures around here. Seems a little bit abandoned <laughs> because because it's abandoned. It's the abandoned mine. All right, let's uh, enter. Ooh, exciting! Of course, a crab inside a, uh, a mine. People, probably enemies, but still. You're going to get a dose of fire in your ass. And that was a miss. Which sucks. Okay, he doesn't touch me, which is good. Maybe do some sneaking, but I'm currently using heavy armor, so... Not sure what that will do for us. Yes. Thank you. You know what, I will equip a, a torch as well. It makes it all a little brighter. Uh, come on. There we go. Mm, sure. My inventory is getting full again though. We don't have any lockpicks. If I get the chance, I will buy a hundred. But yeah, this kind of uh, scarcity is not um, in my Skyrim game right now. Mainly because I installed a mod that makes it easier to pick locks, but there's a lot of abundance in there. And Oblivion is a little more... Um, I guess if you fast travel, you're, you're used to getting more items but uh, with this playstyle, it's kind of hard to um, actually find more items and stuff. But it makes it a little more interesting. Okay, what are you finding? Are you talking to me or... Oh, shit. What are we dealing with? Vampire? No, it can be. A bandit bowman. A uh, very low level one. What What the hell is this thing? Jeez. You were fighting that thing? Oh, come on. <laughs> I do have an arrow in my face or something like it. What is this thing? Necrotic sludge? Oh, that's not working really well. Fire doesn't work very well as well. Jeez, it feels like I'm playing Dark Souls. Just hammer away at it for now. It doesn't do much damage. Did an arm came out? No, I wanted to heal. And can we get that arrow out of my face? <laughs> it's stuck in my shoulder or something. Um... Should be in my inventory. Right. 
dwarven arrow 39 and there's a there could be a silver arrow not sure we have the one arrow of drain magica let's wait we can no enemies nearby this time and the arrow is magically gone and it's pretty dark again so let's equip that torch oh maybe we should add a quick button for that let's put this on seven yeah let's see if it works torch equipped well can you use it yes thank you very much Necrotic Puss. Puss. Yummy. Mm, no, we don't need steel. A little bit of a weird icon, but alright. It's a maple bow. Interesting. And a lockpick. Yay. What does the maple bow do for us? Eh, the dwarven is a little bit better. No, we're not using the dwarven, we're using this one. Both scorching, which is a lot better, especially because of the charges. Yeah. We probably, that's what I forget in Oblivion, that you have to actually repair weapons now and then. All right, we're not using the marble bow. Almost over encumbered. So probably should dump it maybe because it's only worth 80. Yeah, you'll have to go. The sucky part of not playing with the controller is that you can't like go slow. Um, it's not like you're pushing a, a joystick or something. It's either move or don't move. Or you can crouch. Or walk. There's a what is the walking again? Sh holding shift, yeah. I guess that's the equivalent of going slow. Maybe we should do that more often. Can I mine this thing? Silver vein. Ah, just leave the silver nuggets. They always only weigh us down. The mines look the same as well. Cure healing? Cure po poison? Yeah. Gold. Eh, we'll take that. We'll take the gold. And we can actually rest. Nothing. Torches. We'll take it. Cheap wine. Eh. Eh. Why not? We should drink it a little more often. It ups our strength a little bit. We opened this one already. Let's see if we can sleep. Or if the game refuses us to sleep right now. Nope. We need to take care of the enemies. I thought this mine should was abandoned. Oh, I can see that coming from miles away. All right. Very nicely done. <laughs> In the starter dungeon, there's a trap like this as well, but you're on the um, giving end instead of the receiving end. What's that? It's an Argonian. You came from Black Marsh? Come out where I can see you. Maybe a Khajiit? Uh, Khajiit. No? Yes. Whoa. Okay. You know what? Um, it seems to be a little bit stronger than the other one. So let's uh, drink some... Um... It does only restore fatigue. Oh, what the hell. I thought it upped my strength a little bit. Yeah, but... Alright, the shield is huge. Oh, 
she is using just a high shield or something. Uh, that's pretty easy to defeat her. Alright. You hit the trap. For accident. Jade amulet. Thank you. And lockpicks. Thank you very much. Good. Can we now rest? Before we venture further? Because we can level up then. Yes. Uh, let's let's do a full eight hours because it's in bed. Maybe we'll get a well rested bonus. Probably not. It's not owned by us. It makes it oh, two p.m. You have ascended to level ten. Yay! You woke today with a new sense of purpose. You're no longer afraid of failure. Failure is just an opportunity to learn something new. Very true. All right, uh, we probably should choose Endurance because it's plus three. Strength, Willpower, Agility, Speed. Let's put Agility to 40. Speed plus two or Strength. We should probably go Strength. I like Speed as well, but let's leave it at that. All right. Level 10. Good work. Let's move on. It still says I need to level up? How is that possible? Because I have a lot more experience points stacked or something? Or it is a bug? Uh, this is my name by the way, Curio Avalon. I'm not sure if it was randomized. It doesn't really tell, right? Where does it tell our current status to leveling up? Oh, it, it does here. Okay, maybe maybe we leveled up again. Uh, this time just one. Level 11. That's, that's fast. Being smart doesn't hurt. And a little luck now and then is nice. But the key is patience and hard work. Uh, strength plus three now invest in speed and I guess more in endurance uh, now we can do willpower okay now the icon is gone so I had two levels I could actually level up so now we're level 11 even not sure what the level cap is but I kind of reminded it to be like only 20 or something and after that, you're fighting in, in an endless invasion of uh, Minotaurs. But maybe the diversity mod creates a little more diversity. The problem is with the uh, leveled uh, quests in Oblivion and leveled enemies, that the main quest can become a little, um, a little hard once you're level 20. But we're about to find out. Well, not about to, but eventually. And I have to sneeze. <coughs> okay, that's that's it. All right. <clears throat> Who's out to face me now? I'm two level higher than I was when I came into the mine, so you better be prepared. Yeah. Average three lockpicks. Now we can try. Don't mess this up. Yes. Gold. Yes, I'll take the gold. And we're fighting something. A red wolf? A dog. Poor dog. Too bad we can't tame it. No. No hand scythe. Yes. Sack of grain with the stinkhorn cap in it. Uh, no, probably not. All right, we go deeper into the mine, in the abandoned mine, with full of creatures. Ooh, another instance: abandoned mine caverns. 
getting more interesting. Probably can do without poison. That's pretty strong though. Let's see if we can land another hit. Yeah. All right, uh. right in time for the blocking. Uh. 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 Missing a little bit of the sound effects here, but that's all right. Uh. Uh. All right, easily enough. Chainmail boots, light armor, leather cuirass, no. You can keep that. No. Am I greenish? Am I poisoned? <laughs> I don't know. Where can we see our current effects? Fortify strength, fortify endurance, hand to hand. Security, resist fire, resist frost, spell absorption. All right. Hello? Who's there? Me. Hello? Who's there? You're repeating yourself now. Is, is that him? Is that an enemy? I think it is. Maybe we can let him trigger his own trap. Well, we can do it with a fire spell. All right, come here. Oh, idiot. Oh, he's not getting hit by it. He's wielding a two-handed sword, though. Or a spear? What are you wearing? What are you using? I mean, jeez. <coughs> Holy shit. All right. Um, and the second one appears. That's not what I want right now. Let's see. Let's see what we can use. Potions. Restore, restore, resist. Fire, fortify intelligence, night eye, sorcery. No, not really. Charisma, fortitude. It's all restoring. Fortify. That's what we want, maybe. Yeah, it's probably not going to work. Poison of repulsion. Drain personality. That's not very interesting. What scrolls do we have? Flashbolt, summon clan fear. Why not? That could be interesting. Water breathing, convalescence. Uh, we'll go with the clan fear. Might be a little bit of a waste, but you know. Oh! All right, clan fear, do your thing. Show me what you've got. Oh, ah, good work. Because he's a little bit too powerful. Uh, he might disappear after a while, probably. 22 seconds. Yeah. I have the feeling I wasted a little bit, but still, it was fun. I guess we survived at least. Thanks, Clan Fear. I appreciate it. Nothing. This one, though, a steel pole arm. Not going to use it, but interesting nonetheless. That was a Clan Fear. I'm not going to carry it with us because it's a little bit heavy. Let's rest. Healing doesn't work. The way I want it to be. I said before I fought a lot in the arena, so I'm pretty used to tough situations where we face more than one enemy. But it's it's been a while, like I was saying. But yeah, this is a, a weapon added by the immersive weapons mod, which is nice. It's nice to see that my enemies are using it as well. Thank you. Yep. 
Yes. 34 gold. And we have 1500 in total. So we're earning a decent amount by now. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to wrap this one up. So um, the next time we will venture further into the abandoned mine. And maybe after that, Maroon's Razor after all. So um, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And have a great day.